Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the R strip string method. And what the R strip string method does is it chops off characters off the right hand side of a string. Those characters are the characters we provide in the argument to the R strip string method. Very similar to the L strip string method, except it comes from the opposite direction. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple examples here. We're going to go ahead and create a string. It's going to be represented by the variable a, and the string is going to be mco, all right? And then I'm going to provide a bunch of white spaces here, and we're going to chop off the white space. And if we don't provide a um, argument to the r strip string method, then the r strip string method will just remove white space. So if you have a string with a bunch of white space at the end of it, the r strip string method comes into play very nicely where it can just simply remove all the white space. So we can go a dot r strip like this and not provide an argument, hit return and notice we returned MCO without any of this white space. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at another example. This time we're gonna remove dot online off master code dot online. And watch what happens. <clears throat> we'll create a new variable to represent our URL, so it's going to be https colon forward slash forward slash www.mastercode.online. And if you haven't visited it yet, please do so. Um, so, all right, so our goal here is to remove dot online and watch what happens here. B dot R strip. And we're going to go ahead and pass in the string we want to remove. So it's going to be, we want to remove a dot. We want to remove an O, we want to remove an N, we want to remove an L, we want to remove an I. We already indicated we want to remove N, so we can skip that. We want to put E because we want to remove that as well. And then we're going to go ahead and close out the string and close out our method. We're going to hit return and notice we get the E removed off of code. Well, I didn't intentionally, or I didn't intend to do that when we started this. But it will happen because we indicated we wanted to remove an E from the end of the string. Now, the only way the strip or the R strip or the L strip string method is going to stop is going to be when it meets a character it doesn't have in the argument. So it met D and it stopped. All right. Now, if we had D in there, um, it also was a D O off of there and we would just had C. All right, so that's how the strip string method works. And I intentionally did that to show you guys what would happen. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know at mastercode.online. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next Python 3.7 tutorial.